John Gill, Revelations chapter 2, verse 14, reading from the exposition of the entire Bible, verse by verse, quote, but I have a few things against thee. The members of this church, before their open separation from the apostasy, who still continued in the communion of the corrupt church of Rome, though they stated against the errors and evil practices that crept in, and so were a stumbling block and a snare to others to join in their idolatry and superstition. Because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication which latter was in order to the former the instruction Balaam gave to Balak, which is here called his doctrine, was that Balak should get some of the most beautiful women in his kingdom to ply the men of Israel and draw them into uncleanliness and so to idolatry, by which means God being angry with them, he might get an advantage over them, that the Israelites did commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab, and he thinks sacrificed to idols and bowed down to Baal Peor. It is certain. Numbers chapter 25, verse 1. From the King James Bible, quote, And Israel abode in Shittim, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab, unquote. But that this was brought about through the counsel of Balaam is not so plainly expressed, though it is hinted at, in Numbers chapter 31, verse 15. King James Bible, quote, And Moses said unto them, Have ye saved all the women alive? Unquote. In verse 16, quote, Behold, these caused the children of Israel, through the counsel of Balaam, to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter of Peor, and there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. Unquote. Continuing, but the Jewish writers are very express about this matter. Jonathan ben Uzel, one of the targumists targum on Numbers 24, verse 14, has these words of Balaam, quote, Come, and I will counsel thee, speaking to Balak, go and set up inns and place in them whorish women to sell food and drink at low price. And this people will come and eat and drink and be drunken and will lie with them and deny their God, and they will be quickly delivered into thy hands, and many of them shall fall. This now was the stumbling block he taught Balak to lay before them, and elsewhere it is said that Balaam the wicked gave counsel to Balak, the son of Zippor, to counsel the Israelites to fall by the sword. He said to them, The God of this people hates whoredom. Cause thy daughters to commit whoredom with them, and ye shall rule over them. Unquote. And then they go on to relate how they built shops and placed an old woman without and a young woman within. And when the Israelites came to buy how well they used them, and what familiarity they admitted them to, how they made them drink of animitis wine, which inclined to lust, and when the signified their desires obliged them to worship Baal Peor and renounce the law of Moses. Both Philo and Joseph, uh, Josephus speak of this council of Balaam much to the same purpose. The Samaritan Chronicle says that this council pleased the king and he sent into the camp of Israel on the Sabbath day 24,000 young men by whom the Israelites were so seduced that they did everything they desired them, which was just the number of those that were slain. Numbers 25 verse 9. By Balaam may be meant that the Pope of Rome, for that name signifies the Lord of the people, and is very appropriate to him, who in this interval took upon him to be universal bishop, and lorded it over both church and state in a most haunty and tyrannical manner. And the Balaamites were those who submitted to his power and authority and received his doctrine, and by Balak king of Moab, may be intended as secular powers, the emperors, kings, and princes of the earth, who were instructed by the popes of Rome to draw their subjects into idolatry, which is spiritual fornication, to eat their bread and God, to worship the hosts, images, and saints departed, and which proved a snare and a stumbling to some of this church 
as to the Israelites of old to do the same things, unquote. End of John Gill, Revelation chapter 2, verse 14.